Hello out there in YouTube land. Okay, last video I made was uh, my Gibson unboxing. Um, that was a while back. I need to take another video of it with a little bit different setting than before I was outside. But um, today I wanted to record a video uh, showing a guitar that I hadn't come across prior to buying this one um at first i thought it was just a bunch of hype a lot of you know flashy frills with no real uh any real quality to it but i looked it up and to my surprise it was really a well-made instrument i don't know why but apparently they've quit production of these the whole company may be out of uh service now i don't know um but I did look into it and it has solid rosewood backed sides, uh, solid spruce top, uh, things of that nature. It does have the Grover open back tuners, but you can see what I mean. It is a Morgan Monroe, uh, I want to say it's an M50V, I, I should have looked that up beforehand, but I'm pretty sure it's an M50V. Um, I guess the V stands for vintage. I know the top, it's probably hard to tell on the video, but it's got like a gloss, like a darker gloss top on it. <clears throat> um, you can see it's got the abalone all the way around the top, around the uh, neck, even at the end there. It does not have abalone in the rosette. It's more of like a herringbone style. Um has the uh, Dalmatian or whatever you'd want to call it, the pit guard. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really pretty. And plus, one of the things that really caught my eye was um, has the Tree of Life abalone inlay all up and down the neck. My grandpa has a Area Pro 2 PW80, and you won't find hardly any mention in history on that guitar but it has this tree of life inlay but yeah the Morgan Monroe right tell there let me get that out this little cheap camera doesn't want to really focus it's pretty cruddy could just be the bad lighting in here or something but um, I wanted to do a review on it because I only saw one other gentleman post a video with this model guitar in it and he didn't really, he wasn't doing a review on the guitar, he was just doing a, like a lesson on a song, but uh, yeah, there's the Grover, almost like I guess a Waverly style tuner, open back, they're really good actually. It has the uh, diamond ferrule or whatever you want to, whatever the proper term is for on the back of the headstock. They're a lot similar to like a Martin D28 or D35 that would have that uh, V neck. So it's got a like more of a edgy neck than a C shape like my J45 has. And it also I added the strap button. Look at the beautiful grain on that. Honestly, this is what I would refer to as a Martin killer. I mean, Martin, they're fine guitars, but you'll pay roughly four times as much as what I gave for this one. And that's what surprised me about this when I saw it. I know it's Chinese and Chinese like Blue Ridge. Everybody thinks this is a Blue Ridge, by the way. Um, Every time I see them, uh, is that a Blue Ridge? Which, you know, as far as I know, Blue Ridge doesn't make one with a plain headstock like this. Which, this is one of the things that attracted me to this guitar. Is even with all the bling bling and the flash, uh, it doesn't have the gaudy looking headstock. I can't stand that. That's one of the things that really just kind of turns me away from uh, Blue Ridge. But, <clears throat> yeah, it looks similar to like one of the higher end Blue Ridge models, but... To my knowledge, they only had about, 
I would say five or six different models of dreadnoughts um, or dreadnought design from Morgan Monroe and this is I think the highest end model that they came out with um, one thing I want to show you here I forgot the back I don't know that when I got it I haven't really dealt with this a whole lot because it's on the back and you're not going to see it when you play it it has like these spots in the finish and I have polished it before and waxed it and try to get those off and they don't come loose so I don't really know if it's in the finish or what exactly but you can see those are can't really tell what that is but uh one thing I did do the only two modifications that I know of other than the strap button and I don't really consider that a modification but um I'm not sure if the Grovers were stock. I've seen a couple of these on eBay that didn't have the Grovers. I can't remember if I've seen any that did have them. Um, I didn't really pay much attention, but uh, it's possible that that was a modification. I don't really know. Uh, one thing that was already done when I got it that was a modification, I'll tell you what, these little brass pins with the abalone on top, you can get them with or without the abalone on top, which with this guitar it looks pretty good with it being that it already has abalone but uh, they're not just for show they actually do brighten up the tone it sounds pretty cool with that um, the one thing I did to it let me see here one thing I did to it was to add one of the Fishman Sonotone uh, pickup preamp systems with the piezo under the bridge um, <clears throat> it didn't have a an electric system on it and I wanted one because lately I've been playing it in church and uh, rather than mic it I find that more useful and quick to hook up just for regular service no special events or anything and uh, I didn't want to cut into the guitar because it's so easy at least on a cheaper guitar I wouldn't have a problem with I've done it before um, but when you cut out the big square in the side if it's not a solid body guitar if it's just solid spruce top and the back and sides are laminate that's not a big deal to me I mean you know, it's, it's uh, under $500 guitar yeah fine but this guitar being that had solid wood I hated it that pained me to have to think about cutting into it so I thought well uh, I found the fishwood system really cheap online and you know it's simple it's more simplistic than I usually try to use like with a four band EQ things of that nature but uh, I figured it would work out for this because as you can see you know you just stick it under the sound hole and uh, so it's concealed it actually looks like it's just a plain guitar which is kind of cool it leaves it stock looking some people like them to look really modded out and like especially with strats and stuff, the frankencaster and whatever they want to call it but uh, with, with this acoustic I wanted to go as natural as possible and keep it fairly simple looking but uh it works good I mean right now the only thing I'm not crazy about with it I don't know if I could see this or not let me see the battery pack goes under the neck block and I just glued or well it had like the sticky velcro two-sided velcro and uh, it sticks in there so the only problem is when the battery goes dead you have to pretty much unstring it or at least loosen the strings in order to get to the battery pack so right now I've been playing my Gibson if I need to play it acoustically or electrically and uh, this one's fine for just acoustic until I restring it it's needing a restring now actually these elixirs have been on here for a while um, but I'll have to get to that in a little bit so I guess it's what's left is to see how it sounds so that's what we'll do now let me put it down that way I can put my camera on the app or on the tripod that's it iPod there 
form of habit. Let's see. All right. But yeah, I would rate this. I mean, you know, it's not going to be a Martin. Some people are going to be picky and they're going to say, well, I could tell it doesn't sound like a Martin and whatever. But I think it sounds pretty daggone close. And for the price difference, I, I mean, you can't beat it. seems to me I mean I'm no professional so I don't really know um, I don't have a as trained an ear as a lot of people would but to me it sounds pretty well full across the board it you know lows mids highs all seem pretty even it chords as far as chording goes it chords pretty smooth um, there is a big difference to me especially when I'm on a faster song my hand wants to cramp up with medium gauge strings. These are elixir medium gauge. I can't use elixir in a light gauge every time I do the for some reason I've only used them like twice, but the third string breaks every time uh, less than two weeks into having them on and I don't even play that often, you know, or at the time that I tried them I didn't. Uh, I do more so now, but uh, they just didn't last. I don't know what the deal is. I've not had any problems with the medium gauge. But that was always a problem with the light gauge. So I, I'm putting elixirs on this one pretty much primarily medium gauge. My J45 came with lights. So that's why I've been trying to stay with it on at least till I get broke in good. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of difference it seems to me in a light versus medium on this guitar. But uh, honestly, I mean, a lot of people want to say that that's where, you know, I mean, oh, that makes all the difference and everything. It may to some, but again, to me, I just don't, uh, it, it's okay. I mean, if I was to play this guitar for a couple hours straight, I'd probably be getting pretty wore out, uh, especially where I like to do some of the bends. <laughs> But um, 
I don't know. I mean, it sounds really good. I need to adjust the shim, this uh, saddle, a little more because I noticed the other day looking at it, my bottom two strings sit up higher than the other four. It doesn't really affect the playing that I can tell. I mean, it seems okay. It might help if nothing else. I don't know, but I thought I'd try to shave it down where I had to shave it to put that piezo pickup in there. Um, I didn't get it smooth across the board. It's just kind of like touch and go. I'm not a luthier, so uh, I'm just playing around with it. But I am pretty pleased with my own job putting the pickup in. It took forever to route the uh, strap button out bigger. I wouldn't have thought they were that much different, but uh, it's considerably larger to have one of these jack hem pin buttons than the uh, old ivory hem pin that was in it. So, uh, but... serial number that's must be wrote in cheap paint because uh, it's completely almost completely gone but it looks like this was a 2007 model uh, I think 2007 or 2008 is the latest I've ever seen one of these so I don't know if that's about the time they quit production or what but uh, I've seen an 06 model but it really surprised me, you know, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of guitars, Blue Ridge even makes some that look really sharp uh, to the eye, but when you look at it, they're laminated back inside, some things like that, which I'm not knocking them, I mean, I've got, I've had laminated back inside guitars, I've still got one or two, but um, I wanted something with solid back inside, something that would age and season, uh, and I could keep for years and years to come and it'll just start mellowing out and sounding better but uh when i saw this at the local music store 
I mean, they didn't want Harley. I mean, I thought it was a really good deal. That's why one of the reasons why I was skeptical about it until I looked into it and I found that they originally, I think, I don't know what retail was. It was somewhere up around like thousand or eleven hundred, but uh, actual sale price I think was like eight ninety nine. Most places I saw. So, um, but this one was marked at like four ninety nine, something like that. So almost half of what originally would have cost it. And it looked in really good shape too, you know. I mean, other than the paint about to wear off of the serial number and um, the spots on the back, which they're no big deal to me. There's, it's really grouped in just like an area right around here. So I don't know. It could be where like buckle rash, somebody's belt did that to it or whatever. I don't know. But uh, it's hid. The top looks good. I mean, it's beautiful. Nice dark rose with the uh, the fretboard. I'm almost 100% sure is ebony. I know, if not, it is a very dark rosewood, but I'm pretty sure that's ebony. The grain's so tight and everything, I, I don't think it's just plain rosewood. But uh, that's it, and I just wanted to give a little example of what it was like, because I was uh, searching for Angela. Every time I go to buy another guitar, I look online, YouTube, and look for the rest of your all's uh, reviews on different ones to see uh, how they...